What's up guys, today we're going to be going through the top 8 WordPress plugins that you should be using in 2024. As ever, we're going to be doing a variety of different uses for these plugins, anything from security, optimization, images, site speed, and even some more custom plugins that will be able to change certain things on themes that are normally unchangeable, as well as a new translating plugin, and a really good one at that. Some of the examples that you can actually do with these plugins is stuff like creating a Fiverr freelance style site, where people can list their services or items, create a directory, and then you can charge commission or different fees. I've included some great image optimization plugins here to make sure that your images are automatically getting optimized, saving you a ton of time and space on your website. Creating simple post counters so not only you but your users can also view how many times a post or page is being viewed. Add extra security to your admin login so people can't simply find the WP admin and try to log in as you maliciously. And also how to get a free WordPress mailing service so your mails and your emails are actually getting sent from your website, as well as being able to create easy lists for subscribers, get subscribers and send them emails. We'll try to get you new exciting plugins that we haven't covered in previous videos. So with that, let's get right into the video. Now just to explain, HivePress isn't just to make Fiverr style websites. It's actually a harder directory, allowing you to create easy directory listings. This includes stuff like the entire user account, dashboard, packages, listings, offers, settings and everything else. And to download the main plugin is actually free. One of the best things I find about HivePress is actually um, how much customization you can do and how many extensions they actually create and maintain that go along with your marketplace, directory, or Fiverr style website. So if we go over to HivePress and we go over to extensions, when you first get it, HivePress is actually free for the directory side. You also get a number of free extensions such as reviews, geolocation, messages, so buyers and users can message each other, paid listings, favorites, of course, paid listings is great for when you start to monetize your directory, claim list, which means that you can for a set amount, people can claim the actual listing, such as, you know, verification. And then you go up into the other extensions that they have. Now, these extensions really will allow you to create a, a multitude of different sites. First of all, the one that I do recommend is actually Marketplace. If you're looking for somewhere that vendors can sign up to sell to users, the Marketplace is going to be exactly this. It's basically going to allow vendors to create and have their own dashboard where they can earn money. You can then charge a commission or a fee, creating either a directory or a Fiverr style site. Now, along with that, you can also do things like bookings, where you can not only create bookings, a booking site for yourself, but you can also, along with the Marketplace, create a booking area for vendors. So potentially, if you wanted to create a service where people want um, to book, for instance, massage or therapies and you want to create a directory for them to allow people to book with them. However, using HivePress, you're going to be able to do that and you're going to be able to charge a commission or a fee as well. You can use requests like a bidding style system. This is where users will say, I want this done for X amount. People can then post offers and the user can accept. Again, you can monetize this by charging a commission or a fee. Next up, we head over to Smush, an image optimization plugin. It gives you loads of great features such as bulk smush, where it will bulk smush up to a certain amount of images for you. And by smush, I mean optimize. As you can see, I've got six attached that is noticed here, I can then bulk smush them and then optimize them all. I do believe here that the limit is 50, but it's not an overall limit. So once you hit 50, you can then upload the next 50 and then keep optimizing until you've done all your images. Great, it's done it all for me. However, what we also want is for it to auto optimize images. This could potentially just be to save you some time when you're uploading images so you don't have to do it yourself, or potentially you might have users uploading them just to your site and you don't want it to overload your server. You've also got really nice little options like detect and show incorrectly sized images. You can edit the configuration for it as well. Choose whether to lazy load images. So for anybody that doesn't know, that means images aren't all loaded up when the page opens. They're only loaded up as the viewer goes down and views them. Optimizing your site further. However, one of the best things that i found is that when you upload images, it will now automatically optimize them images. Not only that, but it'll also notice if they've already been optimized previous to uploading. Therefore, not smushing them too much, meaning that your site stays fast, optimized, and serving the users the best that you can be. For number three, we move on to Loco Translate. The reason that Loco Translate is made it onto this list because of the way that it is able to customize things that aren't normally customizable unless you know how to code. So it's not a translation plugin in terms of translating it to a different language, which I'm sure you can do on there, but I'm going to show you the main purpose that I use it for. So as you can see, I'm on Loco Translate and it's allowing me to change themes, plugins, WordPress, or languages. For instance, if I come over to plugins, I can then find something on my high press bookings that I want to change. To give you a better visual representation of what I mean, if you can see here, I've got the word keywords in my search bar. Now, nowhere on the plugin or the theme does it allow me to change um, the word keywords anywhere. 
Unless I was actually to go in and type my own code, which I don't know, then I wouldn't be able to change it. This is where Loco Translate comes in, because what we can basically do is ask it to change this word to another word. To show you a quick example, let's head over to the Hive Press Bookings area. We can go ahead to add a new language, select our start language, and then go to start translating. Here you're going to find all the wording on the theme that's actually there, and on your website, and on the plugin. For instance, this is where the plugin or the theme is saying booking confirmed. I might not like that text and there's nowhere to actually change this on my site. So what I can do is I can click on this one and then I can add the English translation. I could potentially change it to booking accepted. And then you go ahead and change the file and it will change how it looks like on the front end through your browser and through other people's browsers. So they're seeing the wording that you want to use. Let's move on to an actual plugin that translates. Weglot is actually fairly new to the market or newer than some of the other plugins. However, you can see that it's got a massive amount of good reviews and downloads. We actually had the chance to meet the team when we went over to the 2023 WordCamp. Uh, basically, this is a, a plugin uh, that will allow you to translate uh, your website in multiple languages. Uh, thanks to automatic translation, but also with manual translation. However, I've started to notice their plugins actually popping up on the free directory, which means there is a free to use version. Now, when you first get started, you're simply going to need to make a free account, and they're not joking when they say it takes around 20 seconds to make it. You just add in your details, confirm on your email, and then they'll give you that all important API key that you need to make it work. Customization and actually setting up is super easy after that. You can choose the languages that you want to add by the destination languages. Obviously, with a free version, you're going to get one choice. However, one thing that sets we got part is the actual ableness of the translation. Like they're pretty good at translating, I'm not gonna lie. There's a few other free alternatives that will of course do more languages and I'll leave that in the description. So if you want to check out one that will do multiple languages, I'll leave that in the description. We also have a video on how to do that. However, I was very happy to see how they've set this up, how we've got a sort of editor to the custom position and how quick and easy it was actually to set up. So I've put Greek as the language here, chosen the preview of it, where it's gonna go. Now if I head over to the website, you can see that I've already got the option here. So I've got English and then I can change to Greek as well. It's in the Greek language and it translates really well. So definitely a plugin that I'd recommend going into 2024. It's always nice to use different plugins, new plugins, and this one has some great reviews and like 50,000 plus downloads. It, it works pretty well and you get the free version, which is awesome. Now we move on to some security, some site security, and especially for your WP admin login, because you don't want anybody to be able to try to log in as the admin side, or really trying to log in at all if you haven't got a membership site. Using this one quick, free and easy plugin, you can then hide your WPS admin login, and you can even change where the destination goes to if somebody does try to log in there. Installation and setup is super easy. It's pretty much almost instant, and you've only got two choices to make. Basically, go over to your settings, and at the bottom, you're gonna find um, your new login URL that you wanna create. So for instance, I might want to make mine seekerhost12. So to actually log in as an admin or to log into this site, I'd have to put forward slash seekerhost12 rather than WP admin. Then we can set the redirection URL for anybody that does try to log in into the WP admin. So it's up to you where you send them at this point. You can create a custom 404 page saying, sorry guys, wrong <laughs> way to log in. Shouldn't be trying to log in like that. I tend to add just a little 404 page that we can use for that. So people do actually land somewhere rather than an actual broken 404 page. You can then redirect them from there. Now let's get down to mailing, sending services, and subscribers on your WordPress site. For this, I'm gonna be choosing MailPoet for this top eight list. I know there's also MailChimp, I know it's very well known, however with MailPoet you don't also have to create another dashboard where you've got to go visit and execute stuff on there. I, I don't really like that, so MailPoet's actually one of my favourites. Let me show you why. Not only is it free and easy to install with quite a great plan for what you get for free, but it also allows you to create a sending service. For anybody that doesn't know, when you first create your WordPress site, it doesn't really have a WordPress sending service. It hasn't really got like the proper system inbuilt, and if you did try to connect an email to it, it would probably end up in spam. Stuff like password, reset emails won't get sent, administrator new emails if you want to add a new administrator won't get sent. There are three ways such as using Brevo, formerly Send in Blue, um, with WP SMTP plugin. However, MailPoet gives you much the same service which you can use and as you can see it's, it's got a ton of features and the free one comes with I believe up to 300 emails a day or something like that. Don't hold me to that. Either way, once you add it as your sending service, add in your domain, setup only takes a few minutes again, you can then start sending with MailPoet. So it will send all the emails for you and it does it really well. It integrates very well with WooCommerce, meaning that you can also edit some of the emails for WooCommerce with MailPoet. At heart, MailPoet is a subscriber listing and email service, so it's for you to be able to gather subscribers and send them emails. That can be anything from newsletters, welcome emails, post notifications, re-engagement emails, or even your WooCommerce emails. 
and that comes with really helpful stuff like the abandoned shopping cart feature, where we can set something after a certain timeline to email people to remind them that they left stuff in their cart and they want to purchase it, along with other ones which also come in the free plan. Obviously you've got your subscribers, your subscriber list, and one of the things that I particularly like is the segments, where you can segment different lists into different areas. So for instance, if you are using Hivepress and you have sellers and vendors, you can then do two different segments depending on different circumstances. This can be stuff like their WordPress role to make it much easier for you to distinguish who's who. And then when you send the emails out, you can send it to the exact people that you want to send it to, rather than just everybody as a whole or entire lists. Now this plugin isn't new for 2024, but it's definitely one that you want to be using for 2024 because it is one of the best in terms of safety, site backups, recovery, and cloud storage for your backups. So using Updraft Plus, you don't only get like the free feature, which you can simply just back up everything now and you can hold a number of backups on your site, which you can then easily restore. But you can also send it straight to the cloud. So whether that's Google Drive, Amazon, or something else, you can send it there for free. As you can see, it has quite a number of different places that you can actually send the backups to straight away. And to make things even better you can do it automatically so you can fully automate your backup service so it's not only backing up at a certain time it's keeping a backup on your site and then it's also keeping a backup on your cloud storage meaning lots of extra safety for your wordpress site which i always thoroughly recommend now to finish off our best wordpress plugins that you should be using in 2024 we're going to finish with a simple but very effective one now that's going to be the post views counter you might be thinking well you know i've got analytics why would i need a post view counter well, you see, it gives you a lot of customization. Even for the free plan, you get a good number of options. And people like to know if something's popular. If they go onto a post and they can see that it's been read by thousands and thousands of people, they're quite likely to think this is quite a popular post and I should probably spend a bit of time on here. Or you might just simply just be looking for a way for people to be able to view how many times it's been viewed in the first place, which this is simply perfect for. You can add it at the end of your post, at the start of your post, on pages, and you get three different counter modes for when you do first start for free. That's going to be PHP, JavaScript, and REST API. I just tend to leave it on PHP because it's easier, but if you do want to set up the other ones, you've got the option to on the free version. You can change the interval to how many times times it counts somebody you might want to leave it as 24 hours that's so then if somebody views something on the same day it's not going to count them twice so for instance you might want to count the view every one day that they come there and another good one which is being able to exclude your ip you want to you know not every time that you view it as an admin show up as another view you can exclude your ip or any other admins or editors on your site Again, display and setup is super easy. As you can see here, we've got post types. Where do you want it on posts, media, pages, on what types of pages? You can either have it on users. And then if you get the premium version, you can also do it on taxonomies and authors as well. So guys, thanks for you that have stuck around for the whole video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video. And if you're looking for another awesome plugin, popping up now is a video showing you how to create a completely free ticket support system on your WordPress site. And I would highly suggest it if you need a support service for your WordPress site.